Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's you from Happiness and Crafting. So first of all, I would like to wish you all a very, very happy new year. Um, I hope you are all safe and well, um, and have had a fantastic sort of holiday break. Um, I've had a very, very lazy one. I haven't really done any crafting at all, um, and it's been actually been quite nice. Um, I've been, all I've been doing is putting my feet up, watching tele uh, television and eating. So it's been great. Um, so today I thought we'd do something um, to, you know, carry on with making our stash. But I wanted to show you, I'll show you on this one, how to do this lovely Japanese binding. Now I think it looks lovely, I think you'll probably see it better on this one. And how you see the edge of the book like that, I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I've just been practicing because I've just been doing it on little notebooks um, so that we can, um, ready to go in the stash. Um, so we can have lots and lots of um, bits and pieces ready to go when I start making some journals. Um, so I thought this was a lovely, lovely idea. So I've actually done these in coloured thread, embroidery thread, so that you can see them. Um, but you do, obviously you don't have to. This one you probably can't see very well, but that's just done in some um, wax thread. Um, and I think they look absolutely lovely. They're great little um, additions to any journal or any little project, a really lovely little gift to send somebody um, and I think they're great. Um, I will attempt to do a bigger book um, as well but I think they look really lovely so you use all your little scrap pieces of paper which I've done here and here. Um, this is some handmade paper that I did, not handmade paper. It's packaging which I have just um, embossed on here and then I've just painted on there so I probably will do a tutorial on that because it's really lovely good fun nice and messy project as well so I'm going to attempt to show you how to do this I've got some little booklets already made um, these are just um, very simple you can just get yourself some bits of paper I've got some bits of paper here all as you would do is just gather them up in the right order or however like that Okay, so this is nice for scrap paper as well, um, because you can just use individual pieces. Um, punch some holes in it. I've just punched five, just like that. Um, punch five little holes. Let me get a pencil, if I've got one here somewhere. Just mark them off, like here. So you'd one there, one there, one there, and then in the middle, just like that. So just sort of like eyeball it, punch five or however many holes you would like in there um, so you've got them like that and then I can show you how I use the thread so I pop some blue in here because it's easier for you to see so to start with I'm going to just take that bottom one out I just clamp them there so they're in the right place so the second to the last hole what you want to do, you want that's the one you want to go through, but you want to lift up so you're like halfway through your booklet and pop that needle up through there, okay? So this piece of thread needs to go in the middle, like that, and then pop that down again. You can pop this back on here like that to hold it on. Okay, get that out of the way. So that's popping out the top because that's we want to tie this but we want to tie it inside the middle of the book so we don't see um, sort of like a little knot so we pop through there and then we go back up through here like that like so over to the next hole and through and then we want to go back down like that and through there pull it quite tight you want it quite tight then we go up through the next hole and then back up again so this is just holding it here like that and then we're going to go down through here the next hole the last hole and then back through there like that and then we want to do a little stitch this way so we turn the book and then we want to go back down through that hole there like that and then we want to come up through the next hole and back down whoopsie daisy 
as long as you don't get tangled underneath. Back down like that. Again, we come up through this hole like that and then back down. So very, very simple. And then we want to do this stitch here. So we go back through there. Oops. And that holds that one on there like that. And then we want to do the end one. So bring that up through and back down. Right, now we can take the little clips off. And we want to find the middle bit here with our little piece of thread in it. So then we want to go through the, the second hole where the piece of thread is, where we put the first piece of thread, and go up through the middle like that. And then you want to tie it. Make sure this is all nice and tight like that. Pull it tight. And then you want to just tie a knot. Oops inside like that and then that means that the knot's going to be hidden in the book inside and it will look like you know this is all one sort of piece of thread and then we can take this off like that and then chop it off if I can get in there like that so there we go, and that's how it looks. Make sure these are all nice and level. And how lovely does that look? So again, do it in something that actually matches, but I wanted to do it in blue so you could actually see what it looks like. Um, so I will do another one just to show you. Um, but I think these are really, really lovely. Just something a little bit different as well um, to pop into your journals. So it will take five lengths of the the um, thread three four five just so you've got enough to tie the end so it's better to have too much than not enough oops didn't go through very well there we go has that gone through no i'm really not very good at th threading needles at all there we go hooray so again I'm going to take the bottom one off so we want to go so we've got a five holes we want to go the second hole from the bottom just go halfway through your pad of paper like that and go up through that hole like that and put the length of thread through it so it comes out that side Okay, and we can clip this back on again to hold the pages together. So what we want to do then is come up through the bottom like that. Whoops. And then we go over to the next hole and we go down. And then we go back down again so we get this little thread there up through the bottom. To the next hole then back up through that hole again like that so we've got that little one there over to the last hole and then back down again so that catches on to this one here and then we need this end one here so just turn your book like that and pop that down through that hole like that so then you've got that one there and then we want to come up because we want to we're missing a one here and here so we need to come back up through that hole and then this one we want to join in and then this one here we need to join in so you come back up through that hole and we go down through the last hole and then we want to go back down like that so we catch that one there and again we want to put one through on the end like that so that's all neat and tidy so then we come back up through this one and take these off we find the middle where the little thread is and we come through that hole and in through there like that and then you just take these two and tie it in a knot make sure your end bits are nice and tight here 
like that. Oops. And tie that in a knot. Just like that. Do a double knot. And then we get our scissors and just chop that little bit off inside. And there we go. And then you can't see an end of it at all. So it looks like it's all one continuous thread. And people will wonder how you did it. So I think they are fantastic. I'm loving them. Um, I will be changing these. I've only done that obviously for so that you can see them, um, how it's done. Um, I will probably pop some of this in here, which is the wax thread. Um, but I think they look really, really lovely. Um, so I hope you do too. I hope you're going to give it a go. Um, and there we are. Use up all your scraps like that just like that and do exactly the same so you've got all your scrap pieces of paper just like this um, and you can use them all up or you can make some lovely little booklets like that so really really good all right guys well thank you so much for joining me um, I will be coming back with lots more videos um, so I hope you really are safe and well um, and I will see you next time all right guys take care bye bye